everyone. Good morning. It's easy. Today we've got an interesting video. We are doing the Loonian versus the Goblin Knife. Last night I decided to test out which strategy was better, the Loonian or the Goblin Knife, to go and get Dark Elixir. So we did a couple attacks with the Loonian, we did a couple attacks with the Goblin Knife. We uh, recorded them and I have my own opinion on it and let's see what you think about it. This first attack right here is, is on the Loonian. And uh, this all started off when King, um, who's a max Town Hall 11, he started using the Loonian and posting up some of his replays, and he was annihilating every base he came across. So that gave me the idea that I'm going to go back a year and try to use the Loonian again. Now that the balloons have this buff that they have, and I'm telling you, this is a nasty attack. No one is your friend after you Loonian their base. Uh, I can't. This first attack, I went across uh, a, a Town Hall 10 just because it was so stacked and kind of forgot what I had in the Clan Castle. It's not a good idea to put the Clan Castle uh, Lava Hound in last. That was kind of dumb. But uh, kind of keeping it real with the video. I don't just show the, the best. This was the first one I tried. Uh, so, good loot. Um, the, basically, the tactics that you want to use with Lunian is you're gonna put in a big row of balloons. You're gonna you're gonna really check to make sure that the air sweepers aren't gonna affect the attack too much. If they made a mistake on the base and they have both air sweepers pointing in the same direction, that's gonna really intensify the ability to, to push those balloons across the base. Um, I used two rage and and four I think four or five hay spells. And if the loons get a good push into the base, I just lead them, lead them with the haste spells, and they just pick up more and more velocity. Yeah, that was 4,000 Dark Elixir on that raid, so that was a good raid. Uh, this one right here was, had 500,000 Elixir, 4,000 Dark Elixir. Um, started off, I believe they had, the heroes were pretty close to the edge, so I did kind of a hero swap to start off and took out, took out the queen. Um, this one, I think I had a couple Lava Hounds. So, anyway, came in from the bottom on two sides and dropped two rage right over the first two air defenses. And the balloons kind of pushed their way into the middle. Then I started dropping the hay spells and the hay and, and, and just try to lead the balloons with the hay spells as best as I could. And then I started. Now I actually normally I'll put in the um, the minions right there with the balloons for whatever reason I decided to hold back this time. And uh, it worked out just just fine anyway. Uh, the balloons took the whole base, and the minions just cleaned up. So we got a three star on this attack right here. So so far in two attacks, and these were back to back attacks. Um, we got a ton of loot on the first attack. We three starred on the second attack. So so far so good with the Lunian. Now I knew this was going to be. It was, I had a real, I, I, I'm not going to say I knew, but I had a feeling that it was going to be like this because I, I, we've been using balloons in the war, um, and as unpredictable as war attacks are, they've still been doing really well in war. Now this is the first Goblin Knife. For those of you who don't know what the Goblin Knife is, this is a clear out type of attack. You're going to go in, now there's an assortment of different troops you can use to start off with. Uh, I, I was using giants and wizards to, to clear out and what you want to do is clear out a direct path to the core These these goblin knife attacks work best when you have town hall and the dark elixir storage in the core and the goal is, is to clear out in front uh, And then drop the goblins in under a rage spell and under a jump spell and have them jump into the core and take everything out of the core and what I found it's an effective attack Matter of fact, I never failed with it. I tried it four or five times. I, every time I got everything out of the core. But this is not a, not even close to a three star type of strategy. This is a, you're going to get Town Hall, you're going to get the Dark Elixir, but you probably won't get all of the other resources. And um, you, you don't even think about trying to get the whole base. I was using 50 or 60 goblins, and I used so many goblins to guarantee that I take the core. I found out um, before, because I've, I've used this strategy a lot and made other videos with it. I found out before that if you use 30, they can take you they, they can take you out in the, in the core. So I bring 50 or 60. I believe in this attack right here, I use 50. This is a really cool attack. That's why I want to show this one. This is the piss off the guy that you're attacking type of attack. Because 
these goblins literally just went in and took the most valuable parts of this base and left everything else standing. So it kind of sucks when you're defending and you make a pretty good base. But I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. Town Hall 9s should not be making ring bases. You, you, you need to have the Infernal Towers and you need to have the Eagle Artillery to make an effective ring base. A ba what a ring base does is it s separates all your defenses. You got them all split up all over the place. And you can go in and punch a big hole in one half of the base and then do what I just did right here. Just send the goblins in late, put a jump spell in, there's not even a rage there. And uh, they, they jump right into the middle, right between four maxed out for Town Hall 9 and front, um, uh, Teslas. And took all the uh, all the Dark Elixir, left everything else, but effective raid, 2500 Dark Elixir. This one is back to the Loonian again. And uh, I find... <laughs> You know, I wanted to find a base I could three star. Instead, I stumbled upon a base that had a million in resources, 6,000 Dark Elixir, so I couldn't pass it up. It, w it was not a dead Town Hall 10. And um, Town Hall 9s don't usually take Town Hall 10s that have the Infernal Towers that are standing. But there was so much loot on this base that I wanted to take a shot at it. The, the, um, it's not upgraded very well and the air defenses were not upgraded very well so you had to have some patience here I scouted the base for about 15 seconds or 20 seconds ahead of time had a had a lava hound in the uh, in the clan castle I believe I know that th this this video says Lunian versus uh, versus the goblin knife and I d did a bunch of Lunian attacks but I think the ones I actually recorded actually were Laloons so kind of misleading title but I just I, I, I actually recorded some of the more impressive attacks and this right this right here um, this is one of those attacks where I didn't have well I, I definitely didn't take what I wanted but I had one or two troops left and I realized that those one or two troops were in a really good position they were on town hall and right next to town hall was a dark elixir storage and right next to that were other storages so I kind of had my fingers crossed that they that they were going to path right because we've all seen them path something crazy and then uh, take you know go from town hall right to a defense but this time they didn't so there was right now as it stands right now there's 3900 dark elixir dropped a haste spell which did absolutely nothing for it <laughs> that doesn't help your attack at all it just speeds them up but as they start taking the dark elixir they go it goes from 2900 uh, and for, so far I'm counting 44 45 4600 dark elixir so another great raid which which shows the Lunian is a super stout attack it's something that I would suggest farming with um, one of the things that I've always liked to do and I've, I've suggested to my clan I'll suggest it to you if you want to know what the best attack is, go and look at the top number one man. Look at the number top ten guys. Uh, I know that they're in Titan. They're at Town Hall 11. And Town Hall 11s have to use different attacks than everyone else. But if they're all carrying Laloons, then that's going to be the number one attack. There was a time where they all had Miners. There was a time where they all had Witches. There was a time where they all had Valkyries. Right now, they all have Lava Hounds and Balloons up there. Okay, this attack, going back to the Goblin Knife. And this is another really good base where uh, the, the, the core has Town Hall, it has the Dark Elixir in it, it has everything that you really want in right there in the core. So this is another clear out. You clear out one side as best you can. You put a, uh, What I did is I put a haste next to, the, next to the edge. I put a jump over the walls to the middle and then I put a rage right there in the core or close to it. And those goblins went in and chopped down the Dark Elixir stores and chopped down Town Hall. Again, if this is not a three-star, even close to three-star strategy, that uh, 40 percent, 45 percent, but got most of the loot. This one wasn't a huge base as far as loot goes, but the attack took no dark elixir to make, maybe a couple hundred, and uh, you pull in 1,900, so you got a good profit there. You want to, what I like to do is that for a town hall nine, I'd like to hit 2,000 every time I raid in dark elixir or more, so that's pretty good. So, Goblin Knife first Lunian. I'm gonna give this to Lunian, guys. Uh, it maybe not have been like this two or three months ago. I know the Goblin Knife's a super popular attack for Dark Elixir farming, but if you're gonna choose between the two, choose the Loons. They are they are sick. So, 
Thanks for staying till the end of the video. I do appreciate that. Sub to the channel if you haven't subbed yet. And like the video. You guys gotta like my videos. Uh, anyway, I'm out. Till next time. It's been easy. Take care.